when I was born, I was born with an arteriovenous malformation, which I was not aware of. The cause of cerebral arteriovenous malformation, AVM, is unknown. The condition occurs when arteries in the brain connect directly to nearby veins without having the normal blood vessels between them. I had two brain bleeds and I went to RPA, the Royal Prince Alfred Hospital, and I was operated on. After his brain bleed, Glennon had neurosurgery. He was recovering from this operation when he suffered another severe bleed. This resulted in him having more surgery and a VP shunt connected to relieve pressure on his brain caused by fluid accumulation. And because of the aneurysms, I had short-term memory loss. This meant I had to go into a nursing home. And when I went into the actual nursing home, I was the youngest person there because in New South Wales they don't have facilities for people in my age area with this type of problem. Glennon has been attending rehabilitation and brain injury programs since 2008. Before I had my aneurysm, I had a con content life. Um, I was an actor and TV it was, was income from that. Due to my injury, I've had to change my whole life. I've become a lot slower, <laughs> which doesn't sound good, but it, it's, it is a good way to live for me. After his brain bleed, Glennon had to rebuild his life and find new interests and activities which could complement his lifestyle and help his memory loss. I help out in the office for the nursing home sometimes. Um, when I'm asked to, I will. Um, I, when I'm asked to do something, usually I'll say yes. Glennon rebuilt his life and started art therapy classes. He now expresses himself through painting and drawing rather than through acting. In my life, I've had to find new ways to be creative. Apparently, I still go to art therapy each week, although I can't remember it. Um, that's just part of the disease area. I, that's what I put it down to anyway. I do daily, I'm fine. Fine with whatever's in my day. The previous day I lose. I used to escape quite a bit from the nursing home. Um, I'm told that. I, I don't remember it, but knowing me, it probably would be true. I was apparently even caught lifting one of the older residents over the fence. And <laughs> I, uh, I think that's a bit funny. I was helping her escape too. Uh, that's a bit sad. Uh, uh, but funny at the same time. Glennon has had his work exhibited, but he doesn't remember the experience. This doesn't deter him, and he keeps on working because he loves colour, texture, and being creative. Art for me represents a vision of life and an insight into it, and a thought about it, a comment on it. Anyone who's had a brain injury, Stop. Stop and let it, let it become part of who you are. And then think about it. If you think about it too quickly, you're going to get mixed up. I got mixed up. And in time, things came back. I remember some parts of my childhood and teenage years. I don't remember them clearly at first. But once I concentrate and, uh, and bring back the memory, they're there still. If you have an injury, all the best. <laughs>